Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, that, the moon, the next few days, okay. Um, whew, man, even got the best of me as a reader. Okay. Um, so this is what I'm going to do briefly. Sheldon, you want to help? Hi, baby. Um, this is what I'm going to do briefly. Um, if you are moving forward and you've made up your mind you're moving forward and there's no going back and you're moving forward, okay? So there's that. So for those who are moving forward, because we know clearly everybody eventually moves forward, right? Some will evolve sooner than others. Um, but for those who are trying to evolve, and you know there's no going back, there's going to be different categories. There's going to be the karmics that are going to take a lot longer. There's going to be ones where it was like just catalytic energy and like, oh my God, it happened again. Okay. That transition is going to be easier. There's others that have absolutely nothing in our and are ready to go, and it's and it's um it's it's because you're ready, and not that you're really picky. It's you know what you want, right? And if it's gonna go down, you want it to go down the right way. So we will have three different categories. So you're gonna have to put yourself in whatever category you're in, okay? Um. So if you're ready and you know you're ready and you're very independent and you know what you want and you won't settle, it's amazing, okay? Um, there's that. Others, I, I wouldn't say the karmic is actually involved in this one, to be quite honest with you, because they are not ready to move forward, Maybe one of the other karmic, maybe the one. So you have two people in a situation, you know, the both in a karmic situation. One is not ready to get out and the other one is, okay? So that's kind of telling me that the one that's not ready to move on, the one we've been reading, will not be in this read, okay? This is going to be for those who are ready and willing and you're not going to settle. And the other ones are for the ones that are determined and are going to stay disciplined to go in a new direction after leaving a karmic situation. So therefore, I'm taking my words back. We have two categories. You two could be coming together because that's a possibility because that would be two people learning a lesson and not staying where they know they shouldn't. Okay? So... For those moving forward. Cheers. For real. Proud of you. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. You say it with you. You say she better. Works to clear fifth dimensional energy, helps to remind and of going and like, bring back your knowledge, gifts, talents, reclaim your mastery. Um, I know you probably just didn't hear any of that because it was in my head. When you give, you receive. Okay. So, and I was just saying, like, when you're ready, and you're ready, whether you feel ready or not, you're ready. If you're leaving a situation, you're ready. If if you're leaving a karmic situation, you have no interest in a commitment or, or getting back out there, living your life just quite yet, then this video isn't for you either. This is for people who are ready to come together and be with somebody and, and put effort in, okay? Um, don't forget about your gifts, your talents, your knowledge. We claim your, mas your, your um, mastery. So I, I don't know if like... Even if you're not spiritual, this is like, where you, like, you got that cloak, right? Wear it. Wear it with confidence. Whoever you are, whatever you are, whatever you want to do, do it without judgment. You know, um, when you give, you receive. So this is going to take effort between you and somebody else, and that's normal. I think a lot of people are like, oh, you know, if it's my life partner, it's, it's my soulmate. It, it's still work, guys, because there's, there's still going to be challenges. Everybody has challenges. It's, can you work together on these challenges and 
this is a scenario where you will be working together, okay? Because that's how it's done. It protects you in time of change, a time of rapid change too for some of you. You are safe, relax, let shit flow. So, if this is a protected scenario, this is telling me you're both ready. But you both got to put the effort in when it comes to things too, right? So, imagination and courage, all right? So, again, having the confidence, standing your power, whatever you're imagining, go after it. Embrace it. Nourish your brain. If there's passion or there's creativity... Don't stop because this is like a stop, okay? Be thankful for what you had, okay? Be thankful for the opportunity that's presenting itself right now, okay? So there's there's still stuff where there's going to be a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but you can push through. And acceptance, I'm learning I cannot change the past, which is amazing. And at the bottom of the deck, you have peace, okay? That's fantastic. So it's like accepting is time to move forward. Accepting things don't move without change. Can't evolve. There's no growth. Willing to make the change. Being grateful for what you have in front of you. Being grateful for the opportunity that's right there, even if it doesn't quite feel like it's together. Because I know it doesn't quite feel like it's together or coming together quite yet. Because, you know, it's having the confidence, letting the fear go. Your brain's telling you, I can see this, I can see that. If you have knowledge and gifts, it's like foresight or dreams. Or I know I had a past life. I know I'm going to marry this person. Or I know it's going to be like this. I know what my, somewhat my future details. You know what I mean? It's it's that type of stuff. It's, it's time to give. When you give, you receive. There is clearly an opportunity coming your way. And this, if you're in a relationship right now, you're dating somebody, this, this would, you know, also come into the equation. Because these are, this video is for people who are ready to put the effort in, ready to move forward, ready to meet new people, ready to give it a go, ready to flow. Because this is energy of like the magician in a way. Uh, something already you manifested. It's like now it's time to put it together. So you clearly have free yourself was right under it. So it's telling me you're just releasing something. And it, it doesn't even have to be a person. It's just a past thought per se, okay? There's a lot of attraction between you and somebody. And I knew I felt that creativity and passion. It's like getting it back, you know? And then you have make an effort. All right, so we had that in the moon read too. So right now it's like you guys are keeping... A little bit of a distance between you. And then you have this could be the one, okay? Um, so I don't know. Is it a could it be a trust issue? Who knows? Let me plug my let me plug my light in. I unplugged it. Hey buddy. I feel like it's quiet between you and somebody right now or you and yourself, okay? 
some of you, you already know this person and you guys are just ready to come together. Others of you, you are still in the midst of freeing yourself. Like I said, you're determined. You still want to move forward. You're going to put the effort in with the right person, place, or thing. Okay. Clearly, you know, there's something that's going to move forward here. And you got two twos. Okay. And this energy is kind of like watching. So again, this this would be like a soulmate reading. Someone, you know, and not a karmic soulmate, a life partnership. A new soulmate. That's not karmic. You need to find the balance here. There's no balance. Some are just going on a journey, yeah, and you're going to reclaim your mastery. So this is basically saying whether you're religious, spiritual, whether you're an atheist, whether you believe or not believe, it is like ding dong, like an idea, a thought, passion, creativity. It is, it's coming back once you allow it. But see, you're fearing. So I don't know if you're fearing judgment or how other people will look at you, you know, but see, it's like blocking. It is, but it's getting past your block, but it's also blocking fear. Don't let fear block it, but it's also blocking other people who are not agreeing with you. This is like an idea, a gift of yours that can be extremely successful. Whether you guys do it together, it's something you already manifested. And this is a, a wake up call. And this is being awakened. You know, taking back your passion, taking back your own thoughts, your creativity, your ideas. It's time. When you give, you receive. Ah, it didn't quite fall. Look at that. It is time. There's that balance too. When you give, you receive. Like it's what you have between you and somebody, or what you will have. Okay, because again, this is some of you are just releasing, um, is a soulmate. This means you deserve this person. You deserve each other. And some of you, it's, it is somebody from your past. Others of you could be a past life. Again, I'm stressing this. This is not for you if you're in a karmic situation. This would be letting go of a karmic situation and going into something new. Or this is you that are, is more than ready and you know you will not settle because you know what you want. When you give, you receive. It takes two. And you, there's a mutual connection. Now it's time to put the energy in, the effort. There's distance between you two. Stop questioning if you're the one. You already have foresight. You already know it. You're letting fear get in the way. How about you be thankful for what you have instead of looking at all the things that went wrong? Accept what went wrong. This is a time of change. Get that passion back. It didn't go nowhere. If you feel like it went away, it was your own blockage. Release it. This is beautiful. Okay. Um, protects you in time of change. So upright, this is like, bam. Okay. Standing in your malls, having that integrity, being confident, loving life. It was reversed. Okay, so this is kind of like not accepting change. Well, this is accepting it, but this would be hesitation. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't really get vulnerable with you. That that could be a thing for whomever comes into your life or, you know, um, 
but I wouldn't worry too much. I would give something a little bit of time here because the what the connection you guys have is is beautiful and it's it's worth putting time into. It's worth making the effort. So you, it, it, you do, this is fearful, okay, and you do have it here. Even though you have the inner knowing that this is kind of like your person or you know like your person is right around the corner. So with the Empress being reversed here, this could be an old marriage, an old co-worker, just somebody you were with that, you know, crushed you, broke you. Um, this is basically telling me you've had a past marriage or a past relationship or a kid's mother or a kid's father that really crushed, crushed you, broke you, broke you down to the point where there's lack of confidence, which instills fear. Lack of, conf lack of confidence is just fear. It's other people's words telling you you're not good enough or you didn't do something right, okay? Or I'm afraid to get hurt again. Let it go. And it, it, to me, you're probably just freeing yourself possibly from this situation or you already did because now you're going in a new direction, right? So don't let someone else's past pain stop you. So here's the thing. I just said no comics allowed. There's not a karmic here like that, okay? But some of you are most definitely dealing with somebody who is releasing a karmic. Freeing yourself. It could have been a little separation between you guys because now it's like, oh my gosh, the fear of moving forward. I've already been hurt. I've already been married. I've already done that. I don't want to do it again. You know what I mean? Maybe I'd rather just play. But I don't see it like that. Not with this. This is an idea, a gift, a talent. The two of you might come together and work on it in the future. But this is, you know, going in a new direction. So... You are, this is why another reason why I think I felt the patience because you are dealing with somebody who just freed themselves, and that's not a big deal. What the tool you have right here and a soulmate connection when you give, you take when you put the effort in because it's a good chance you already know who this person is to you is it's unbreakable, it's unstoppable. So you're better off putting the effort in than not in, in suffering because this would be energy if you weren't together. Even after you meet this person, all the in-betweens and, and distance, it, it would be internal suffering. It really would be when you have something like that. Okay. So I, I do feel like you're both grateful for each other. I don't feel like you're not. I think what the problem is, is that somebody, yeah, see, it's, it's, it's somebody else where, okay, miss that over. So I don't feel like you're ungrateful that you guys have this opportunity to come into each other's lives or ungrateful for an opportunity because this is an opportunity. This is long-term. This is fulfillment. This is the best card you can get in the deck. It's the sun. It's clarity. It's it's vitality. It's coming back to life. Okay? Um, it's releasing fears, releasing anything that holds you back, being grateful, seeing things differently. So you're accepting that clearly there's a connection or you're accepting that somebody is about to come into your life. Yeah, and strength. It's beautiful. Okay, it's like the wounded warrior, like I said. So you have somebody here who's ready and you have somebody, let me put it this way. You got two people that are clearly ready. You got mutual feelings. It's saying you're ready. It's just time to give. Okay. Um, but you have one person that's just kind of like getting possibly out of something toxic, just regaining their strength, finally letting fear, like they're biting fear in the ass and they're saying, fuck this, why would I let this go? You know, this is having the strength, you can endure it. And this is also saying on a mutual side note, if somebody is getting out of a marriage or has been married before and something's going down, this is you accepting how things are going down and you having the strength because you do know somebody is just giving a little bit. But, but if you're both giving the same, even if it's a little, that will grow. So you, you might want to put some boundaries up if you have a discussion what you want, what you don't want. Just fill each other in a little bit so there's there's less worry, less anxiety. 
Okay. Um, but this looks good. This is putting this is putting the effort in. And this is really um, this is really um, you know it, it's fresh. So freeing yourself chemistry of the Ace of Cups reverse. So it, you were in a situation that was probably unrequited love, or they couldn't just quite give you that love until something got wrapped up. Um, but chemistry, you have a strong connection with you and somebody. And some of you, I'm telling you, it's a past life or it's somebody returning from your past. It keeps showing up, okay? So they're freeing themselves from a situation where there was not mutual love, you know, or this energy didn't have enough love for themselves because they were broken with different types of energy. But now this is somebody who's very reliable, dependable, secure, um ready, stable, committed, nurturing, is a giver, solid, okay, um, so that's wonderful, and the, you know, it's more or less advice, like, you both got to put the effort in, there's, this somebody sees long term, it's, it's a given, you might even have children with this person, like, you will, yeah, see, this is a match, this is a perfect match. It's time. Put the effort. This is the three of pence. This is a new soul contract. This is about teamwork. Putting the effort in. It's time. It's time to put the effort in. You guys really are the perfect match. If you if you collaborate on some type of business, whether it's spiritual or it's not, whatever this idea is, is this thought, it is amazing. You guys are going to be set. This is like leaving a legacy. You just got to put the work in. So I feel like some of you were separated for a little while, but you both know like this is the one. Like it's it's that inner knowing with imagination. Like you, it's almost like you manifested each other over over time. You know, yeah, the wheel. It, and again, it's it's somebody from your past. So it's the X in your chart. This fortune. You're very fortunate to have this type of connection relationship. Like your next person you bump into. So don't let fear stop you. See, it's a time of rapid transition and transformation. So letting go of this fear, having the courage to move forward. Clearly, there was an ending with a scenario. Okay. Um, and this could be you just being married before and something didn't go right. You know. Um, but this is, you know, a lack of <clears throat> insecurity. But you're, you're protected. That means there's somebody here that clearly understands a scenario. And it's time to put the effort in. It's time to move forward. Time to get creative. Time to get the cash, the the cash, I keep saying, I almost said cashew, the creativity and passion. I try to mesh passion and creativity, creativity and passion and cashew. So, um, it, it's time. This is the wheel. This the, is the comic wheel. This is the wheel of fortune. You know, it, it's time. And again, I just realized that you already met the partner you seek. So some of you, this this is has to do with somebody you already know, or your past is coming back, or it's a past life. But this is fresh energy. It's renewing. It's refreshing. It's rejuvenizing. It's it's seeing something, knowing something, feeling something. The depth is here. Take your time. But don't not go after this. Okay. Um, wow, that was my stomach. So I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I really don't think it's any anything else. I, I mean, it's, it's what chemistry you have with somebody. It's the perfect pair. It's a core couple. It's a match. You've either both been married or they've been married or just getting out of something, you know, um, but again, this is don't fear love again. This is a different type of soulmate. If if you were in a um, a karmic scenario, this love is way different. The, but I would think you would already feel that and know that. It's just fear holding you back. Even though you see the future, you see long term. Don't don't let nothing. Don't let your past pain 
or anybody, a mother, someone who's not putting the effort in, an ex. Crawling on a water bottle. Don't let an ex get in the way. Don't let them discourage you. You re replace your fear with confidence, and this is the confidence card, and it's 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 reversed, okay? Because you still have a little of this going on. Don't let this energy stop you from moving forward, whether it's a mother or an ex-wife, or if this is you as a feminine, your past experiences with somebody you possibly had kids with, or a partnership that involved work, whatever. Okay, and this is you are protected in the time of change, so the strength is here. This is energy where you build each other up. You don't build, you don't break each other down. Every love is different. I can't stress it enough. You have the perfect match here. It's like two peas in a pod. It is time. This is wheel. It's, it's all about time, divine timing. You know, um, it's time. Time is now. Slowly put something together. Talk about something. Be thankful for what you had. Have. You can't change the past. You gotta stay strong and push through. You have a, a long time future. The sum of you, this is a partnership. This is whether you marry this person or not in the future. This you will this year ride or die. You will bury each other. And that is beautiful. It's bittersweet, but it's beautiful. Because this means you get a second chance in love. This is like a real, a real pure love. Because if somebody else is getting out of something and then you were in something, like this is, this is that love everybody wants to experience. It really is. Okay. Um, it does look like a masculine or a feminine needs a little more of a confident boost. All right. But that's all in time. Give and take. And, and the feminine might too. It's just. When you give, you receive, right? You guys just need to be on the same level. Like, you can't overgive. You can't overfeed. That's like having a little newborn baby. You know, you can only give them so much. Then they got to come up for air. They got to burp. Okay? It's, it just it needs to be nurtured. I know it's a crazy analogy, but it's beautiful. Okay? So, work on it. And again, if, you know, this is, again, this is energy of you're, you're moving forward. You're pushing through. You are going to have a, a love of a lifetime. This is a love of a lifetime. That clearly tells me this, you both deserve this. So that means lessons have been learned, even though... Some of you are getting out of a karmic scenario and going into this one. That's okay. Take your time. Go slow. Be on the same page as somebody. This really is the love of a lifetime. This is life. It's vitality. This is mutual love. This is an awakening. This is a court couple. It's a perfect match. Two peas in a pod. This is the wheel of fortune. It's being given to you. It's a gift. This is a love of a lifetime coming at you, forming. To me, you are, some of you already know this person, and it just might not be here yet. It's somebody from your past, but it's coming in. Maybe they need to wrap up something karmic. Who knows? Or maybe it's somebody that's not wasn't even in a karmic situation, and you were the one in the karmic situation, and somebody just reaches out. And you're like, whoa, blast from a past, you know? And you both have been married before, there's children involved, or you work together. But don't let this fear push through this confidence because there was an energy that there was so much pain and hurt. It, you now have a lack of confidence when it comes to, which is fear. It's all fear-based from ego because somebody else didn't build you up. This is not what this is. This is two people build each other up and do you, this is not, you guys don't break each other. This is not that type of connection. This is a love of a lifetime. Count your blessings. I love you guys. Have a great weekend. Great week. Rest of May. Talk soon. Bye.